So this is my first real YouTube video that I'm making, but I have, I made a hairdo yesterday that was like three victory rolls, like one here and then two here and then like curly in the back and a bow and like everybody asked me how I did it. And I've seen so many tutorial videos, so I was like, maybe I'll just make one. So basically, the stuff you'll need is a comb like this with a little pointy thing. That's optional, you can use just a regular comb. And then some kind of smoothing brush for when you hairspray, you can make it all go nice and smooth. And then I use this just to bring like the ends together so they like swirl easily and then you're gonna need a whole lot of bobby pins like I'm not even kidding like this much times like two three and then I like to use these little clips I got like a little box of 80 of them from a little store in the Al Cajon mall called Empire Beauty Supply. There's 80 of them and it cost five bucks. And they're they're pretty nice. I just like to use it to separate my hair like I used them for these and this. And then hairspray. I use Tresemme Mega Firm Control. Just like pretty much the one that looks like it'll hold my hair the best because I like to wear these hairstyles all day going to school. I went to work yesterday. And a bow. I got this on Halloween last year because I was Snow White and I just like put it in my hair. But it's just like a puffy thing. Okay. So let's get on with this. Basically I have separated three sections trying to show you the lines but the front section is just like a big old square and then the back two sections I have my hair part on the side so I just kind of went by that and then I don't know if you could see the back I sectioned it kind of going diagonally upwards like that I don't know if you can see but yeah and then my hair I curled it yesterday I used hot curlers and it looks like this you just plug it in and it turns on and it comes with a bunch of little curlers and then little secure thingies. Works pretty well. I just left it on for like 45 minutes to an hour and then put them in and then leave them in for like an hour or so. You could probably put them in like not even hot if you have wet hair. You just got out of the shower or something and you want to like just leave them in I don't know but yeah just curl it and that's how the back of my hair got curled it looked a lot better yesterday but I figured I'd just kind of go off of what I already have going so I'm gonna do the front one first basically my hair is already like super teased but I figured I would show you how I do this anyways I I have this blonde piece, so I like to take that out because I don't really want to tease it because then it'll just look like, I don't know, it'll look weird. And it doesn't really matter that I have the little black hair in there. My hair is black, by the way. That's why it might be a little bit hard to see. But I like to get a little layer because I'm going to make my roll going this way. So this is going to be the outside part that needs to look smooth. And then I like to get it from the back too. I've never seen anyone do this. Like I I learned a lot of this stuff from like tutorials on YouTube. But I will be doing a lot of things that I didn't see other people actually do. But it's just because I think it makes it a little easier. So there's that. Just separate it off to the side. I'm going to use one of my little silver pin curl clips. I 
And I'm in my bathroom and I have like a gigantic mirror on the wall, so I'm gonna probably be using that more since this is really hard to see. Okay, so there's that. And then basically you just take sections and you spray and just tease it. It doesn't look like anything's happening because I already have a lot of tease. But pretty much tease it like to there, like to here. And then just kind of leave that to the side. And then I like to get bigger pieces because I feel like more hair clumps together, more volume. Okay, I'm gonna get lower here. Then I like to do it on both sides, on the middle one, because I just, it, I want it to be big. I like when my victory rolls are big. And then I like to just go like that to make them stick together. And just make it a whole big old ball of fluff. Yeah. Okay, and then, um, what you want to do, I, I like to go like this in the front, spray it, and then like kind of smooth it up a little bit. I'm like, I'm not brushing hard at all. It's just like making the spray make it go upward. And then get the pieces that you sectioned out from the back and the side. And kind of smooth them out. And my hair already has like a bunch of hairspray in it. Like, ugh, I didn't feel like washing it before I did this. So basically, you decide which way your victory roll is going to go. I like to go with my part, my part's on this side, so went that way. So you bring the hair over, and then this is like kind of a cleaning step that you could do after you're done, but I like to do it now. Just kind of spray it and smooth it over. I got some in my mouth. Okay. Okay. So now you have this kind of almost like a victory roll. But basically, after this, I get my big old round brush and I kind of smooth it together. So it kind of like curls all together. And then you kind of hold this part up on the top while you bring this around. Some people like to make the curl from the end and then curl it in, but I like. I don't know, I'm still experimenting, but I like doing this. Just like bring it around, kind of smooth it out while you're going. I know, I just feel like this way leaves more room to adjust things. And then, huh, can't really tell, but that's, that's the rule right there. Just make adjustments, make it tighter or looser and then grab a bobby pin and I like to have the blonde piece kind of out in the front so I'm going to get my pin and I go like right behind the blonde can't really tell but right behind it and pin that down to your head and just push it all the way in as far as you know and that's pretty much secured in and then you know make adjustments if you don't like it. I really like doing this with red hair because you could actually see the swirl. But that's also why I got this little blonde piece that I originally got it for Victory Rules. It ends up looking nice when I do like little pumps or whatever. So now you can put in another bobby pin if you want. I like to put one on the top. I've never seen anyone else do it, but I like to do it, so I'm going to do it. And then you can basically just put a whole lot of hair spray. Go over with your brush really, really lightly, like barely. You don't want to brush it out so that you have hair sticking all like that. And there's the front roll. That's pretty much it. 
And okay, next I'll do this one, the right one, which is the side my hair is parted on. These ones are a little bit harder to do than the front one, which might be due to the fact that I'm a little bit newer at it. But, uh, yeah. So you get your hair. My computer keeps going black. Okay. Now, this is, you're kind of doing the same thing. You get sections. And then spray and tease. Both sides, it's fine. And teasing way up till pretty much the same because I just like to leave some end to so that the swirl looks kind of clean and then okay kind of do the same thing that we did on the side and back of the front roll just have like a layer out I like to make it a little bit thicker because I want it to stick to my head in the end and then do the same thing my hair is kind of short this would be a lot easier with longer hair but, like all the videos that I've seen, girls have longer hair. But I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna try it anyways. And I think it's been pretty successful. Kind of tease them together. And this brush, and your, your swirl's gonna be going like this, so. And do that and then have this bottom piece and does that go with this? I don't even know. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it. Um get a bunch of hairspray. Sorry for weird hairspray faces. And then brush it up. This one I like to do a little firmer of a brush. Like brush it harder because you're going to want it to like really stick to your head right there. And then I definitely get the back because you're going to end up, this is going to end up being smoothed onto your roll. I don't know if it's looking perfect back there, I can't tell, but. Okay, so basically you want to Smooth the ends together, first of all. There might be a little teasing there. It's okay if you brush out the end of the teasing. So there's that. Now you kind of want to bring the back forward like this. And then kind of put your thumb in there and go like that. And then grab it with your other hand so it looks like this. And I'll lift this up so you can see. So it looks like that. And that's the beginning of your roll. You, I'm pretty sure you could pin that down if you wanted, like right there. But I just like to get on with it. Keep, keep on moving on with it. So just wrap it around just like we did the first one. So now we have a roll. And body pin. Oh, it's so hot in here right now. Okay, so we're gonna pin. It doesn't really matter where you pin it over here because the front roll is blocking. So this one body pin could do it. See? And this right here, I wish it would just stick to my head, but I think it looks fine. But I'm just going to get another bobby pin and secure everything. And that's pretty much it. Just give it a spray. Smoothing brush really lightly with your hand just to make sure. And you see how the back looks? Yeah, that's how it should look. 
so it's like smoothed over looks like it all just comes to the front okay next is the other side taste hairspray Ugh. okay and just so you know I did pin right here behind the rolls just to make sure that when I'm brushing forward I don't snag something over there Okay, so for this one, this is my my parts over here, so this one has more hair. But I wanted to kind of make it so that it gets placed in an even spot. So I saw in a video, someone did this thing where she like pins it down right here. We do it after you tease, but I have a bunch of teasing in my hair, so I'm going to skip that for now. And then just pin down right here, because it will give a good base for the roll. For where the roll is actually going to go and that you have to judge yourself where you actually want to go and it takes practice I'm not that good at it like I haven't been doing this for that long but you know just play around with it that's the only way you'll get anywhere so we kind of do the same thing as before get a big old piece this one I'm just I have a lot of teasing so I can't really separate it you get to write this into two and then leave out your smooth part. You know, like all my hair is curled. I curled all of it. So, basically, I'm just going to tease this so that I can get as much volume as possible in this roll. You can see what I'm doing. Okay. That looks like a lot of volume to me. So, we're going to go ahead and bring it up. Uh, you can see a little piece of hair that I didn't exactly get the black dye with. Okay, so I'm going to smoothen it. And I like to get right up here where all the little baby hairs are too. Smooth it out with the back too. Okay. That doesn't look right. Yeah, okay. That's gonna just Okay, so now I'm going to do the smoothing of the edges. It's okay if it falls down. Okay, see how that all kind of makes one big old curl now? Okay, so now we're going to do thing where we kind of bring it to the front again. Like this. See how it all already kind of looks like symmetrical to the other one. It doesn't have to be symmetrical, but it's deciding to be too, so I'm going to go with it. I'm going to hold, pull it up a lot, but don't hurt yourself, like there's no need that. Bring it around, keep making this swirl. Okay, this one isn't going to be as good, but you get the idea. Mm, no swirl. I'm going to bring your other hair, go on top of it, and pin it. Okay. Once again, not perfect. But I'm just showing you how to do it. Yeah, okay. So this hair was too short to go into the curl, so I'm just gonna bring it around and pin it. Could do that too. If you have short hair like me. And I started doing this when my hair wasn't even this long. So you know. 
it's definitely possible. perfect but it's the idea okay now I took the little pins out of the back and this is where you're gonna need what more wobby pins so basically you go to the back and it's I think it's better if you have curled hair like I think it's kind of more of the pin-up style but I think straight hair would be cute too and you could even do like a roll you could put like one of those hair nets back there. I don't have one, I wish I did. But uh, there's a lot of things you could do. This is just kind of me reproducing a look that I did yesterday. And yeah, you could also do like a little ponytail and put the bow on top of it too. I wanna figure out how to use this clip. It's like a little hair clip, a little hat. I don't even know how to use it. Anyways. Um, okay, so you're gonna kind of do pull like a little bit of it back like this, and then, pin it. and then it feels secure, but I like to put another one just in case, kind of crisscrossing it. And then I'm gonna do the same to the other side, just kind of bring your hair. Just the top of it, not all of it. Pin it. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing, but hopefully you can. Pin it. And then you have this hair here. That's where you put your bow. So I have this kind, but if you have one that has a clip like this, it's a lot easier. Or like, you could even use like a flower, this, like I just feel like these clips are a lot easier to use, or a rose would be cute. But I have one of these, so this is what I'm going to use. Just kind of find a place to go in, speed it along, and then guide it out, and then just clip it down. I think that's it. And there are ways you, you can still secure the bow even more. You could pin it on top and on bottom. But I don't see any need since it's it's being held on top of the uh, hair that's already pinned down. This is bothering me. I'm usually really OCD about my hair. Like really particular about it. Okay. But yeah. That's pretty much it. There's a front victory roll, two side rolls, curls and a bow, and put together with some pinup makeup. This is just really simple. I'll do another video sometime, but there's really not much to it. Anyways. That's pretty much it. So let me know if you liked it. It's my first video. So we'll see how it works out.